Now for part B, we're asked to sketch the graph y equals x squared plus 6x plus 11. And to sketch this, it's very easy because all we've got to do is use this equivalent version of y equals x squared plus 6x plus 11, this completed square version, which we found in the previous part. Because what we do is we think of f of x, first of all, as being, say, equal to x squared. And the graph of f of x equaling x squared would be a parabola going through the origin, a u-shape, so something like this. All right, there you go. There's my graph of f of x equals x squared. And then we can build on this and make it head towards this, because we could then look at, say, f of x plus 3. In other words, we're replacing any x in f of x with x plus 3. So what we get is x plus 3 all squared, which is the first part of this. And we should know that this would take any graph of f of x and move it three places to the left, a translation of three units to the left, parallel to the x-axis. So what you're going to get is a graph looking something like this. All right, okay, so this will be the graph then of x plus 3 all squared. And this is a very important point, this point here. It's at minus 3. Now we can go for the final graph, because if we just take f of x plus 3 and then add 2, what we've got is x plus 3 all squared and then plus 2. And what this does to any graph is it shifts it, it translates it upwards by two units, parallel to the y-axis. So imagine the green graph now moved upwards by two units. So you're going to get a graph that's going to look something like this. Okay? Now this point, not that we're asked for it, but it does occur in other questions, the minimum point. This minimum point here would be at minus 3, 2. And we're asked to say where the graph crosses the y-axis. Well, that's going to be when x is naught. And when x is naught, you can see you get 11. Or if you put naught into here, it doesn't matter. 3 squared is 9, plus the 2 is 11. So this point here is at 11 units up on the y-axis. OK, so we weren't expected to put this point down, but we were expected to put this point down. And that's how you can sketch quadratic graphs using completing the square. And I've got several examples and tutorials on this on my website, if you just have a look under completing the square and how it can be used.